guys, I saw something really cool today that I want to check out. Um, it's something that I actually saw a while back on Facebook. I was just kind of browsing through and this video popped up and it was uh, pretty cool, but I thought at the time that like it was just some kind of voodoo magic or some magical chemical that uh, was pretty, uh, pretty neat, but not something that you'd be able to do at home. Turns out I was wrong and uh, one of my students actually came in today and showed me just how to do this. It's really cool. All you need are some uh, dry erase markers and uh, a, a little bottle of water and you can do the same thing. So get some stuff and check it out. It's pretty cool. Why does it do it? How does it work? That's what we have to know now. Let's figure that out. Okay, so let's find out what is in dry erase marker ink. Let's find out what the deal is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ethanol or isopropanol, yeah, that's the solvent. Uh, pigments, color, okay. Oily surfactant, ah, or quo solvent. Uh, and a polymer or resin, huh. All right, so definitely some things in there that are going to help, uh, and that is uh, that's going to be the surfactant and the polymer resin. So, so the surfactant's going to help a little bit because it's going to reduce the surface tension of the actual marker um, that you've drawn, and the uh, the polymer or the resin, whichever they're using, is uh, definitely going to be uh, the the piece that's cohesive, the the cohesive piece to it, um, the part that holds it all together. Uh, and so that's why when you draw your little stick figure guy and you get it all soaked up with some water, it's able to separate from the table. I think that's probably the surfactant um, that's pulling it away from the table or the glass. Um, and then you've got the, uh, the, the resin or the polymer that's holding it together. Uh, polymers are, are actually just molecules that have been linked together like chains. Uh, and they form very long chains and so, uh, so that creates some structural strength or, or rigidity to uh, the, the polymer itself. So uh, definitely those are probably what's causing it to, to do that. So it's, uh, it's pretty interesting that, uh, you know, just some markers, uh, just the ink from a marker uh, has properties that are able to do that. So uh, science is pretty cool. That's, that's pretty awesome. Huh, I can't believe that. That's pretty cool. Just some dry erase markers and a little bit of water and your stick men come to life. I mean, that's way too cool. It's always been something that, that I've been good at because, I mean, I can't draw. I just can't draw to save my butt and I know that, so I just don't. I stay away from it because I'm horrible at it. So, uh, I've been really good though at my stick figures. I mean, my stick figures are on point. Check these out. Really, those, amazing. You can't get better stick figures than that and I guess maybe the reason I'm so good is because we do a lot of stick figure drawings in physics it's just something that we have to do so I got really good at it and uh, it's it's a lot of fun but now you can make them come to life just by using some dry erase markers and a little bit of water it's pretty cool 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.